Bismillah, walhamdulillah, salatu salam ala rasulillah. Continuing in Riyadh Salihin, volume 2, book number 8, The Book of Virtues. Narrated Abu Huraira <coughs> and Ibn Umar, radiyallahu anhuma, we heard Allah's Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, saying, while delivering khutbah on his wooden pulpit, Either some people, i.e. hypocrites, stop neglecting the Friday prayers or Allah will set a seal upon their hearts and they will be among the negligent one, Muslim. They will be among the negligent ones, mean those who will become utterly unmindful of the remembrance of Allah and his orders. Such people are munafiqun, whose abode will be hellfire. It means that negligence of Jumma for a long time is such a serious offense that it can even seal a man's heart, which finishes all hopes and chances of one's improvement. Narrated in the Umar radiallahu anhuma that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa said, when any one of you intends to come for the Friday prayer, he should take a bath, al-Bukhari and Muslim. Narrated mm -hmm. Abu Sa'id al-Qudri radiallahu anhu that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, taking a bath before coming to Friday prayers is obligatory on every adult, al-Bukhari and Muslim. On the strength of this hadith, some ulama have regarded bath for Salat al Jummah as wajib, obligatory, and those who differ from this view, like Imam al Nawawi, resort to the interpretation of wajib made here. Whether ghusl is wajib or desirable, it applies to women as well. If they like to go to the masjid for Salat al Jummah, the manner of taking a bath for the Friday prayer is similar to the manner of performing ghusl after sexual intercourse. Narrated Samura radiallahu anhu that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, it is all right to perform ablution properly for the Friday prayer, but it is better to take a bath of Abu Dawood and the Tirmidhi. This hadith supports the contention of those who do not hold the ghusl obligatory for two reasons. Firstly, it allows one to perform wudu. In fact, it has been regarded good. Secondly, the ghusl has been regarded better, from which one can safely infer the permission to leave it. In any case, there is no doubt about it being masnoon. Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Mustahab, desirable. The time of the ghusl is from the daybreak to the time of Salatul Jummah. Narrated Salman radiallahu anhu that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, If a man takes a bath on Friday or purifies himself as much as he can with ablution, oils his hair, applies whatever perfume available in his house, sets forth for the masjid, does not separate two people to make a seat for himself, offers salah what is prescribed for him, remains silent when the Imam speaks, his minor sins between that Friday and the following Friday will be forgiven. Al-Bukhari. This hadith stresses the following four points. One, the need to purify oneself as much as possible on Jummah. The one use hair oil and perfume so that others do not feel any irritation on the bad smell which may rise from one's clothing. Two, one is advised to go for Salat al early so that he has not to jump over the shoulders of others nor has to sit tightly between two persons. If a person goes to the mm -hmm. masjid late, then he should occupy the available seat and observe full manners. Three, one should offer nawafil after reaching the masjid. Four, one should listen to the khutbah quietly. A person who observes all the manners mentioned in this hadith will receive full benefit of Salatul Jummah. 
narrated Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, He who takes a bath on Friday like the bath for ceremonial purity and then goes to the masjid, he is like one who offers a camel as a sacrifice to seek the pleasure of Allah. And he who comes at the second hour is like one who offers a cow to win the pleasure of Allah. And he who comes at the third hour is like one who offers a ram with horns in sacrifice. And he who comes at the fourth hour is like one who offers a hen. And he who comes at the fifth hour is like one who offers an egg. And when the imam ascends the pulpit, the angels who write the names of those who come to the masjid before the coming of the imam closes their register in order to listen to the khutbah. Al Bukhari and Muslim. This hadith mentions the merits of going early for Salatul Jummah and narrates inducements provided for it. The earlier a person goes for it, the greater his reward will be. In fact, the reward for it goes on diminishing in proportion to the delay that he takes in reaching the masjid for the purpose of such of much of much so that he who reaches the masjid after the khutbah will be totally deprived of the benefits which go with it because his name does not figure in the register which shows men's of merit. Salatul Jummah is also attended by angels. This fact shows the eminence for the khutbah of Salatul Jummah and Salah itself. The ghusl performed on Jummah should be done with the same meticulous care as is done in ghusl jun. جنابا والحمد لله رب العالمين